talk about how to feed your spirit because it's just vitally important that you feed your spirit. Yeah, you feed your spirit faith. You feed your spirit the word of God. That's how we win. And, you know, Jesus said that um, you have what you say. So you want to say things that are positive and encouraging and optimistic. You want to speak these things to yourself. Tell yourself you're a champion, you're a king and a priest, and you're more than a conqueror. Say things such as, all my bills are paid, my needs are met, my debts are canceled, and I owe no man anything. Say, I'll walk in divine health all the days of my life. Say, my eyes see perfectly, my ears hear perfectly, my internal organs function and synchronize according to God's divine design all the days of my life and that I will live a long life and be satisfied. Say any sickness, germ, virus, or disease that touches my body must instantly die because I'm covered by the blood of Jesus. This is how you feed your spirit. You, con you make confessions. You speak the word of God into your heart. You tell yourself who you are so that at any crossroad, your spirit will be strong. The, the spirit of a man sustains his infirmity, but a wounded spirit who could bear so you want to exercise your spirit by speaking these positive things to it, telling yourself you are a champion, you are on top and rising, you're the head only and not the tail, you're above only and not beneath. You have to make these confessions on a daily basis. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established for you and the light of God's favor shall shine upon your ways. This is how you feed your spirit. So you want to feed yourself the word of God. Feed yourself positive things. Tell yourself where you're going and who you are. And tell yourself you're strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Tell yourself that I'm smart. I'm intelligent. I have the right answers to every question. I, have the, I make the best decisions. I have the best of friends. I have the perfect people in my life. You have to feed your spirit these things. And, and trust me, you will attract all these things into your life. But if you think you won't do it, you can't make it, you won't because the scripture says that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So if you think in lack, you think that nobody helps you, there will be no jobs, you think nobody likes you, you know what? There won't be any jobs. Nobody will like you because you have what you say. So this is how you feed your spirit. Make these positive confessions on a daily basis. Train yourself to be positive and optimistic, encouraging and edifying. Train yourself to be strong and powerful and so forth. Train yourself. Speak to your body. Speak to your mind. Make declarations daily over your children, over your family, over your household, over your finances. Make daily declarations. Speak to yourself. Feed your spirit by making confessions on a daily basis. That's how we win. Trust me, it's an awesome, wonderful life. It's a beautiful life. It's a world out there to conquer, and it's all yours, and there's more than enough of everything for everybody. It's just some people have and some have not. Those who have not, Jesus said, what they do have will be taken away, and those who have, even more will be added to them. It's because they're operating according to his principles. That's what it's all about. So, I wanted to just come on and tell you how to feed your spirit. This is how you do it. Make these confessions. And I also would like to encourage you, continue to send in your questions and allow me the opportunities to come back and answer your questions and have dialogue with you by way of this, this um, website here. So thank you so much for tuning in to BFABP.com. Continue to send the questions. Thank you so much. <laughs>